All right, here we are at Sound Advice. And Sound Advice today, I thought I would do volume swells. And the reason I chose volume swells is because it's one of my favorite things to use just for adding color to any kind of song that you're playing. Uh, and there's several different ways we can do it. Now, what a volume swell is basically exactly what it sounds like. It's where we start with no volume and we slowly swell into full volume. And it creates a pretty cool effect. But there are some, some guidelines uh, you might want to use to make it sound really cool. First off, uh, some reverb settings. Okay, what we'll do for our reverb settings is we want to have a lot of reverb and we want a lot of decay, which is actually the length of the reverb. Uh, I've got mine set uh, pretty high, as you can see by the graphic on the screen. Uh, you got all your settings there, but basically every reverb is going to be a little bit different. Mine's at about five seconds of decay time. Uh, the volume is, I think, at about 70%, so it's pretty loud volume. So it's a long decay with a loud volume. But what that's going to do is as we bring the volume up, when we go to bring the volume back down, the note's going to continue to ring out and fade out real smooth. It's going to sound very cool. Uh, so we're going to start with the distortion sound as well. Uh, I'm going to use like a, a pretty heavy overdrive, and this is because we're going to do single notes. This will be like more of a lead type effect. Uh, and I'll show you chords in just a minute. Uh, our delay settings on here, you're going to probably want somewhere anywhere between 400 and 500 milliseconds of delay at about 35% feedback. And then a level of probably anywhere from you know 40 to 60 percent somewhere in there. And the reason I'm giving you the the more broad numbers is, is simple that uh, every effect is a little bit different, every unit's different. So play with it, and you'll you'll ultimately come up with your own warm sound. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. With a volume swell, I'm just going to start with say the 13th fret on the second string. I'm going to hit the note. I'm going to bring the volume up with my foot. When I bring it back, you can hear the reverb and the delay still ring. So I bring it back, it's still ringing. Now, there's an art to this in terms of doing it slow with your foot when you bring it up and slowly bring it back, you get a smoother effect. Now, let's try a little lick. What I'll do is I'll do just a little um, kind of a minor thing, a D minor, where I'll go from the 13th fret on the first string to the 12th to the 10th. And again, uh, something that's very cool with this is to, if you've got a whammy bar, use the whammy bar real lightly, just a little bit back and forth as you swell it. Here I'm just hitting a note, bringing the volume up slowly. Now another key to having successful volume swells is to hit the note before you bring any volume up at all. The string should be ringing on the guitar before you, uh, before you bring the volume up. Because if you bring it up before you hit the string, you hear the actual pick hit the string, which is no good. You want to go almost like that violin sound. In fact, I know Yngwie on a couple of his riffs will actually use this to create a violin sound where he'll do it kind of fast with a delay. If you hit one note, bring it up, etc. It kind of gives you that violin effect. And then with the whammy bar, and another really cool effect with the volume swell is to do uh, bends. What you do is you bend the note first, and then come down on it, right? And bring the volume up as you come down. Kind of that seagull effect. Very cool effects with that. Play around with that over some chord progressions and experiment, you know, with with coming up with different tones with the bends, with the you know using different tones with your effects as well. You don't have to uh, use the distortion. You can do clean notes the same way. But another really cool effect here is this: is uh, doing the volume swells with a clean sound with a lot of chorus, and uh, you keep the delay in the verb, but then add chorus to it and actually do chords. Okay, we'll do with a chord. Let's say let's try something that sounds pretty neat. We'll try. Um, Let's do like a D major nine. That's going to be our second finger, fifth fret, fifth string, to our first finger, fourth fret, fourth string, our fourth finger, sixth fret, third string, and our third finger, fifth fret, second string. It's called a D major nine chord. Now what you're going to notice, I'm going to hit the chord first before I bring the volume up. I'm going to bring the volume up, little whammy bar. Let's slide that over to the C position, so we just move it over two frets. Back. If you change the chords fast enough, they'll overlap. The reverb from the first chord will carry into the striking of the new chord, and you get this really kind of washed out cool sound. Again, 
for me, what I really like is the whammy bar. The whammy bar with any kind of uh, volume swell stuff, I think, is really cool. Is you add that vibrato uh, with the verb, and it, it, it makes the, the reverb kind of go back and forth like that. It's very cool. So experiment with your volume swells. If you don't have a volume pedal, your other option is to use your volume knob on your guitar. What you can do is, here, I'll go back to my distortion sound with the heavy verb. And what we can do here is you can actually turn your volume down with your guitar, strike the note, and bring it up. Bring it back down, strike the next note. Kind of grab the, you can grab it with the back of your finger here. And obviously that's a little more difficult than using your foot, but your other option is to do a hammer on. Hammer your, say you're hammering your pinky on. Play around with your volume swell, see if you can come up with some cool little riffs, some intros to some songs or uh, anything to that effect. I think you'll really enjoy playing around with those, so enjoy it. I'll see you next time on Sound Advice. All right, it's time for joke of the show, musician joke of the show, if you will. And uh, this joke I heard the other day, I thought it was classic because uh, a friend of mine actually told it to me and burned me with it pretty good. But what is uh, the difference between a musician and a mutual fund? Any idea? A mutual fund will mature and make money. Oh yeah. See you next time.